All right, so it's time for another unboxing. Today we are looking at the Van Presto Master Star piece, uh, Levi from Attack on Titan. Kind of weird that, well, at least to me, it's kind of weird that they made him before they made anybody else. Uh, at least Aaron Yeager, which he is coming out later this year, and I do want it, but I just find it weird that he came out first. But he is a cool character. He's a badass character, and uh, yeah, I just watch a show recently and I really like it. Um, I regret not watching it sooner when everybody was saying, hey, you should watch the show. But uh, anyways, this is on the right, the like add-on pack for the, um, I forgot what they call it already, <laughs> but the thing they use to like help kill titans and like jump around and do their thing. Um, usually they sell them separately like for more money, but you can get them together like I did on Amazon for a pretty reasonable price. And, uh, yeah, nothing much to say. The box on the back looks pretty awesome. Um, Japanese writing, so can't really read it. And, yeah, let's just get through this thing. So, because it is one of the Master Star pieces, uh, it means it'll be around the, you know, 10-inch height, which is cool. I like the size of those. Um... I really think they should do a lot more. There's like a good amount of One Piece figures, but you know, I feel like they, they really do need to branch out and do more series. I know they have like one Naruto, but like no Kakashi or anything like that from that series. So I really hope that they revisit that because those were done in like 2011. Um, and they really deserve it because they look awesome. They're like just size wise and everything, the detail on it for the price is really good. Uh, so let's take a look at Levi first. So he is in, what is this, three, four pieces technically if you include the stand. So let's just open this up. And take these out one by one. So the stand, which looks like rubble, cement. Here he is. Here's the symbol for the uh, scout regiment in the back. Um, like I said, the detail on these things are done really good. I just think it focus for a second. Like, there you go. Like, and like I said before, with the Dragon Ball Z ones, these things do not feel that cheap at all. Um, his jacket does feel a little, I gotta say loose, but like, actually maybe it's just his waist that feels like a little shaky. But I'm sure, you know, just need to put the piece in a little bit more solid than that. But, uh, yeah, let's get to the feet. Which, I just like how to do the bottom of the shoes. There's, like, really no reason to, but, I mean, unless you put the on glass and you look in the bottom. Uh, looks good. Giant boots, you know. See if we just put this and this right here. It's like the only annoying part about these is putting them together. There we go. And he is definitely tall. You can see, like, I'm gonna have to move the camera up just so you can see the top of it. Um, lastly, the little cape thing that they wear. Again, Scout Regiment symbol on the back, which this thing looks nice. Like, they do a really good job with paint, this company, um, Van Presta. Like, they do a really good job with, like, shading and stuff, which I love. Um, I believe, does his head come off? Yeah, his head comes off. Okay, it goes on. And head, it goes back on. And, like, let's move this part out the way. If you want to put the stand on, I know you can't see it because we had the stand and everything. And yeah, he looks really awesome. He looks amazing. Um, not much else to say. Let's just open this part up. Like it looks great. Uh, 
like I said, they really have to do more, um, like, series and stuff, just, it's a good line, it's a great price, and they look awesome, like, things compared to, like, $100, like, definitely a better price, so yeah, I do recommend this, if you want something from Attack on Titan, and you want, uh, Levi, yeah, Aaron Yeager, like I said, will be coming soon. I don't know if they're going to do any more. I'm hoping they do. But we'll see. Uh, here's a little instructions on how to put everything together. So let's see if I can do this fast so the video doesn't drag on. Here we have replacement arms. Um, part of the pack. The two swords. And all this stuff. So, yeah, let's try and put this together pretty fast. So, let's take this. And this, since it looks like everything is there, attaches to that. I believe these are to hold everything up. Well, that is anyway. Um, that's. And let's just get the rest of this out. Yeah, so I've been saying for a few videos, like, I don't know when, but I will be doing a Van Presto kind of like a review, hopefully soon. Um could be a month from now. I'm not really sure when these videos are actually going up because I do have like other videos I'm working on and other unboxings that are going to be uploaded over shop before this. Uh, basically trying to save time and shooting things without uploading them right away. So in case you're wondering how I'm doing all these videos. So this, for some reason, was separate, but yeah, let's see if I can figure this out live on cam, um, which if you've seen any of my like Transformer reviews and stuff, you know I do not have a great record for uh, doing stuff on camera like this. Um, it looks like this thing facing that direction. So, and two, it does feel a little flimsy, I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little, a little scary. I don't know why it's like, moving more to the right than anything. Um... Do I actually have this on the right way? I don't think I do. Actually, I think this goes the opposite side. Because I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like it curves, but it looks like this. Oh, I'll get that in a second. <laughs> this attaches to this. So I'm not gonna lie, this does feel scary. This piece right here feels really breakable, I guess would be the right word. So hopefully nothing bad happens here. Um, let's see, these look like they all, uh, that's somebody opening the front door, that's annoying. Um, and there goes the light. And this video is getting really long, so you know what, I'm just going to put it together and I'll be right back. Alright, so that took way longer than I thought it was going to. The process for this is actually way more complicated than I thought it would be, and this paper kind of helped, but um, my advice, uh, 
Oh man. So there's these little pegs right here on the sides. You know, like this. There's one here and then one here. You need to remove those first. Um, you need to remove this from the back of him so that everything can attach. And then from there you put these pieces on, you put these pieces on. Uh, it, it would be easier if you could put it all on at once, but it's actually a lot harder than it seems. Um, all the strings were kind of hard to put into each other. The hands are easy to just pop out like the head did, but these little things, uh, they gave me a little bit of trouble coming off, and I didn't realize that they were even there. Um, they're in the picture here. You can see above the hands it shows little picks coming out, but I didn't notice them right away. But yeah, um, aside from that, it wasn't too bad. He looks awesome, uh, especially with the swords now and everything. He looks a lot better. But like I said, it, it was a lot harder than I was thought it was going to be. So just keep that in mind if you are planning on getting uh, the add-on. But it is probably worth it. Um, just be careful with it. You know, you don't want to break anything. Take your time. But yeah, that is my unboxing and kind of putting together of the Attack on Titan Levi Master Star piece. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.